god, it's so hot. I'm sweating so much and it's also sticky and oh. <laughs> And welcome to finally another video. It took me three weeks to upload a new video, or at least I'm planning to upload this video in the weekend of the 25th of Ju June. I almost wanted to say July. It's not July because otherwise I would be spending my time in America, but it's not that time yet. So today is my big June book haul because I've never bought this many books in a month, guys. And I just bought nine books. I bought nine books within a month, that is crazy. So the first thing that I want to mention before the book haul is that my friend made me such a beautiful piece of artwork and I just wanna show it to you guys because she definitely deserves a shout out. So hi Yifum, um, here's her shout out for making this beautiful artwork and it is this. Can you see it? It says happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one if one only remembers to turn on the light, which is a quote by Albus Dumbledore, we all know that. And she made this artwork for me to hang up in my room, and you can't really see it, but maybe if I show it up close, she also put like a lot of colored splatters on it, like pink and purple and blue, and it's so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Yifun, I'm so happy with it. The second thing that I wanted to mention is that I gained 275 subscribers. 275! What the hell? I also think that that is because my summer TBR had 1500 views. I just overall want to thank you guys so so much for giving me so much love for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel because that is amazing. So before my big May wrap up and my June TBR I had like 480 subscribers and right now I have 720. What? So right now on to the book haul and I got a book unboxing part in this video as well but I already filmed that like two weeks ago and then it had another packaging so I filmed that one so you guys will see like two or three other versions of me. You're welcome for the messy video I guess. So the first book that I will show to you guys has a little bit of like a backstory behind it. So we have this amazing group of Dutch booktubers and they were gonna do a book meetup and they were gonna watch the Me Before You movie and I couldn't come to that. We were not only gonna see the movie we were also gonna do a book swap so we would eat get a random person out of the group and we had to pick a book from our own bookshelves to lend to that person. I got Baker's Magic by Diane Zaylor or Zackler and I got this book from Brit from Brit Reads and I will leave her channel in the description down below. She is one of my favorite booktubers and she just makes awesome videos. She said that this is a little bit out of my comfort zone and it is because it's middle grade and the only middle grade books that I've ever read are the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. It involves magic and pirates and baking so I am actually super excited about it and she was raving about this book. She said that it's one of her new favorites. I hope that this will be one of my new favorites as well. Thank you so so much Brit for picking this book for me. The next two books that I have to show to you guys are The Vincent Book and The Vincent Brothers by Abby Glind. So again, these two books also have a bit of a backstory. So these two books are the very first books that I bought from a used bookseller from Amazon. I had a little bit of trouble with these. They didn't come in on time, so I contacted the seller and they gave me a refund and they arrived. So I basically got these books for free. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you so much to Bear Books Germany for giving me uh, a refund for these books. They are a contemporary YA or new adult duology pretty excited about it. Plus I believe that Abby Glines is like one of those pretty famous contemporary writers as well. So right now on to my other part of the book haul. I want to show you something else that I got and that is my very very first Funko Pop and I'm so excited. Welcome Harry. Oh my god guys, yes, I am dying for this one. I have been eyeing this Funko Pop since forever because I just love the detail on this Harry Potter Funko Pop. A lot of people buy the regular Harry Potter where he's just wearing his normal school clothing with his wand, but I just really like this Quidditch version because it has so much detail. He is wearing his little Quidditch uniform, plus he's holding the snitch and he is holding his Nimbus 2000 and you even see that on the broomstick. I am displaying this on my bookshelf but only at the top because you know it doesn't really match these colors but for this video I will leave Harry right here. So most of the books that I got were such good deals on Amazon that I just could not not buy them you know what I mean and it is Me You Up by Francesca Zappia or Zappia I don't know how to pronounce her name but this is a contemporary book that deals with mental illness. Our main character called Alex has 
schizophrenia, I think that's how you pronounce this, and she is a senior high school student, and she just wants to be normal, but she's constantly dealing with reality versus delusion, and I see something floating in the air. <laughs> Then when she goes to college, she meets this guy called Miles, and she's been imagining him, so she's just like, is this dude real or not? So this book sounds really good. The next book that I also got is from an author that is very well known, and this is also a queen of new adult contemporary, and that is Sarah Dessen, and I got her book Along for the Ride. Most of it this was a cover buy because look at how cute and summery this cover is. This book is about Auden and she is a night person. She loves to sit at the beach at night and then she meets a boy who also likes to do that. Something romancy will probably happen and it will just be the perfect summer read. And I actually really really like this paperback edition. It is just, it just feels really nice and it is quite a big uh, contemporary book as well. It's around 400 pages and I love it when a contemporary book is about 400 pages. So I'm gonna open this. Okay, let's see if this, it's probably not gonna happen. It, it never happens. Not even at the first thing that I'm opening it. Just, I'm just gonna do it like this. So the first one that I see, I'm very excited about this one. And I actually bought this one on a whim. Ooh! Oh my god. I did get like the wrong cover that was on Amazon, but I actually prefer these, and I'm one of the only people who prefers these covers. And it is The Winner's Curse by Marie Wardkowski, and this is the new cover. I've heard a lot of people complain about this one, but on Amazon it had a different picture, but I actually really prefer these. I just think that it looks beautiful with this girl on the cover, and here you also have the other covers. But a lot of people have been comparing these to the Throne of Glass cover, because this one definitely looked like the post that Selena made on the cover of Crown of Midnight. I actually don't know much about these books other than that they are super super good and that it is about a general's daughter who gets a slave. They sort of fall in love and it is a political fantasy book and I'm very excited to start this. So let's see what book I'm gonna pick next. Yeah, oh wow, this feels really nice. It is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I never thought that I would buy this book because it was so hyped last year and I saw it on Amazon and it was a cheap hardcover. Plus I, I heard so many great things that I'm just like, maybe I should actually buy it. And I'm actually really happy. It is beautiful. It feels very velvety and it just, it just looks gorgeous. It looks really, really beautiful and I believe there is a map in here, there is a map in here. And that is why I bought the hardcover, because I was like, I really need to have that map. I don't really know what this is about. I know that it is fantasy and it is about a girl trying to save her brother and a guard trying to do something else. And after I've read this, I can buy a torch against the night because that is basically why I bought this, because I was looking at a torch against the night and then I just found this book. The last book that I got here is a new release. I think that it came out this month in May and I actually just bought the first book as well and oh my god, it is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Ajay. So I haven't read The Wrath and the Dawn, but right now I have the second book as well and it is just, again, so beautiful. I think this is definitely my favorite out of the two because as you guys know, I love the color blue, plus I love just the way that the girl looks in this book. She's wearing this beautiful dress and just, it looks beautiful. Right now I can marathon this fantasy duology. I forgot that I also had this book and that is Wonder Lost by Jen Malone. Look how adorable this cover is. This is a contemporary YA novel that I pre-ordered because it came out on May 31st and I received it at the beginning of June, which was pretty late. I am so excited for this because it involves traveling and romance and it's contemporary. This was on my summer TBR video, so if you guys have watched that and I think that a pretty majority of you guys did, um, then you saw this book in that video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys can also follow me on my social media pages which are Goodreads, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will leave links to that in the description down below as well as my email address. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!